Hello everybody, today is January 16th, 2016, and this time I'm gonna, I'm actually staying up late, um, to do today's video of encouragement, and, but we are in the 16th of January now, and so, I'm just gonna do Psalm 8 today, and I'm gonna do all nine verses, cause it's a pretty short chapter, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera to the scripture, it says, O oh Lord, O oh, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and infants, you have established strength because of your foes. To still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens and the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place. What is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than heavenly beings, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. So... That was Psalm 8, and it says, the this heading of it says, How Majestic Is Your Name? And this is just one of the Psalms that just give praise to God, and that's going to be one of the themes you'll see in the Psalms too. And uh, his name is Majestic in the Earth, and he is established strength because of his foes. So sometimes God's strength comes from his enemies. Sometimes... We see his strength through that. But as we go in 3 and 4, that's kind of important because it's basically saying, what are we as humans that that God should think of us, that God would be mindful of us, and that he would care for us? But yet, he made man only a little bit lower than himself. I mean, that's just amazing how um, how mighty of a God he is. Yet, he only puts us a little bit lower than him. Plus, when we go through 5 through 8, 9, um, it says, Crown him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. So, um, God does not need to use us. Um, he really doesn't need us, but he still chooses to use us for his kingdom work. And that's just awesome how he gives us the privilege of being able to do his work. So, what I want to encourage you with today is that God God is a mighty God, but yet he still lets us do his work. So, I would encourage you to do his work in your life, whether it's telling somebody about Jesus, or um, staying in your Bible more, or giving of, of your income. There's many ways we can do that. And so I just want to encourage you with that today. And tomorrow we're going to go into Psalm chapter 9. And I hope that you liked this. And please share it. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.